And uh, but I think I fancy Ross Edgar uh, in the team sprint yesterday. He did a fantastic second lap, 12.8 in his. And that's that's absolutely world class. Mm. So he's on form. This is the second of these second round heats. Ryan Bailey from Australia. Uh, Esquerdo of Spain. Mikel Bourgain of France. We saw him yesterday in the team sprint final taking gold. Ross Edgar taking the silver yesterday. Uh, Toshiki Fukuyama, uh, Fushima sorry, of Japan and Chun uh, Mulder. There is Esquerdo. Esquerdo made hard work of getting into this second round. Getting through the repechage. As did Teo Boss, by the way, he's had a very difficult passage through, but to be fair, he was impeded by the fact that there was a crash, one of the Malaysian riders went down, and in fact, Giappa of Italy uh, was penalised and had to go into the repechage, although he'd finished third. He had to go into the repechage because he clipped the back wheel of the Malaysian, and that's, down, that's how they went next time around. Uh, Rossi had to go second from back at the moment. Uh, Tian Mulder looking over his shoulder, here goes Mikhail Bourgain straight over the top, now Edgar should try and follow him if he possibly can, but Edgar has had made the mistake in several World Cups and now of being at the front too early, Edgar trying to bide his time, he's going to have a problem though because he's way, way off compared to somebody like Mikhail Bourgain and Tian Mulder, they really have the strength and it doesn't look good for uh, Ross Edgar at the moment, will he? It certainly doesn't, no, I don't know what he's uh, what he's doing there. You quite rightly said that he, in his heat he went too hard at the front. He's trying now, he's trying to come down the... Uh, but look at that physical style there of Ryan Bailey as he hits the front. I don't think I've ever seen a more physical style, but Ross Edgar doing the ride of his life there to come from the back. And in fact, he's going to win the heat. What a fabulous ride. Tone Mulder in second place, and it might have been Ryan Bailey in third. Well, so British wins for both heats of this second round of the kid and what a result talk about getting it right at the right time I take it on the back even that young man's shoulders not going to make the same mistake again <laughs> there we are a little bit of uh, uh, a little bit of a uh, blowing of was of uh, relief one of the British officials there obviously very happy with that uh, performance it was obviously planned that Ross Edgar made no move at all until the uh, the last lap he was still right at the back in either fifth or sixth, sixth place going into that last lap but by god did he go then I'm not even sure you know whether Ryan Bailey actually qualified I think the Frenchman might have uh, Michael Bourgain already a world champion in these uh, these world championships in company with Gregory Bauge and Arnaud Tournant last night and there he goes hitting the uh, hitting the front and uh, Ryan Bailey might be out of it a yeah, tremendously physical style by Ryan Bailey as you, uh, as you were saying just look at those legs pumping around he took a very high line though and he's pumping those arms trying to get around Escudo uh, this time now no he's, he's out of it the uh, Spaniard and it came down to a four-way tussle and timing it absolutely perfectly Ross Edgar head down hands on drops coming through I think he I think Ryan Bailey didn't get in. No, I don't think he did, David. I don't think he did. I think it was Michael Bourgain that, uh, that got that third spot. Uh, you were talking before about uh, Chris Hoy's tactics and so on, and there is the, uh, the result. 